Here we demonstrate the ability for Voxel Vision PX4 to make a Mavlink connection to QGround Control without prior knowledge of the ground control's IP address. So generally in the Voxel Vision PX4 config file, you would set the QGround Control IP address and all Mavlink messages from PX4 would be redirected down to QGround Control to that IP address. Uh, it's also possible to enable a secondary IP address and also a uh, local host address for uh, Mavros or any local functions that may want to talk to PX4. Here I've disabled the secondary and local IP addresses and I've set all of the addresses to null so that Voxel Vision PX4 has no idea where my ground control station is. What we'll do is uh, remember that we have our IP address of the, uh, the drone is currently .1.226 and I'm going to start Voxel Vision PX4 with the uh, debug UDP receive flag set so that we can see uh, when it starts communicating with QGround Control. So I'll start it now. You'll see QGround Control does not have the connection. However, in the communication links settings page in QGround Control, I can add a new link, which we'll call test1, and we'll set a UDP connection to the standard port 14550 and we'll add a new IP address here and say OK. Now if we select test1 and connect then we've now connected to QGround control and we'll see we're now getting uh, packet 0 which is a heartbeat and packet ID 4 which is a ping from my desktop computer's IP address which is .1.212